Are you all ready for bed, I see? Snuggle up under those blankets and carefully listen to me. With your pillow underneath your head and slowly closing your eyes, let's all get comfortable and get ready for a story surprise. Whether we venture through the forest and make new friends or fly off through the distant lands, you can always depend. After you listen for a while and you start to nod off, you can count on us to give you a great snoozy send off. Welcome to another story for you. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Snoozy, the bedtime bear. And today we have a story for you of the pillow who could not fall asleep. Polly, an old pillow, wasn't able to help her little girl sleep anymore. Every night they would toss and turn until Polly realized that she needed some help. As problem after problem arises, Polly learns the importance of asking for help and keeping calm when things seem hopeless. The Pillow Who Could Not Fall Asleep Every night was the same for Polly the Pillow. She watched out the window as the sun set and the moon rose up in the darkening sky as she snuggled her fat cheeks into the bed sheets and closed her weary eyes. She would just start to drift off into dreamland when she was punched and squashed and puffed up by a little girl who slept on top of her in the bed. It was the job of the pillow to give the little girls and boys a comfy place to rest their heads at night. But Polly scowled at Harriet, who was still full of energy. When she came to bed at night, and continuously rolled around and tried to fluff up Polly. Polly wondered to herself when this would ever stop. Many times Harriet's mom called to her, asking her to settle down in her bed. But Harriet continued to toss and turn with her pillow Sometimes she even put the pillow between her knees under the sheets when she was too restless and tired. And this made Polly very annoyed. And she couldn't really breathe properly under all those sheets and blankets and being squeezed so hard. After so many nights of the sleepless routine, Polly the Pello had bags underneath her eyes and decided she needed to come up with a plan and quick. What could she do to help Harriet fall asleep faster at night and give herself a more peaceful night's sleep? The next night, she dragged out a bedtime storybook, placed it on the bed for Harriet to read, hoping her eyes would get heavy after a while and she would eventually fall asleep. This was Polly's plan. Harriet thought that her mother had left the book on the bed, so she tried to read it hoping it would help her fall asleep at night. She would read a few pages, then squish the pillow 
around her neck to try to get herself into a more comfy position. This went on for several times, but it didn't work. She couldn't get comfortable no matter how much she tried. And she finally gave up on it and put the book back up onto her shelf. Polly would not give up either. The following evening, she turned on Harriet's radio before she entered the room and slid back up underneath the covers to wait for her. As Harriet entered her room and heard the radio, she thought again that this was another tactic by her mother who was trying to lull her into sleep. She lay down on Polly the pillow, closed her eyes, and listened to the music the best that she could. But again, this did not help her fall asleep. After a while, she began to sing along with all the songs and kept both herself and Polly awake. Harriet's mom heard the singing and came into her daughter's room and shut off the radio. She asked her why she was having such a hard time falling asleep lately. While her mother stood at the door, Harriet was trying at this point to get comfortable, so she was punching and pounding her pillow to get it just right. This was usual behavior with a pillow and did not hurt Polly at all. Thanks for tuning in. That was a short preview of another story for you. Boys and girls, click the like button. And when you come visit us, you can download your favorite story or just print out your favorite picture to color yourself. Goodbye for now.